Hi VSGers, this is Kelly coming back at you a month late. Um, I did go see the thoracic surgeon when I got back from my vacation in Maine. And the news was a little disturbing to me. I, I thought that maybe they might be able to just take a little bit of the esophagus, but it turns out that he needs to remove about four inches of my esophagus and about 80% of my stomach. Now, that would have been the same with the vertical sleep gastrectomy. However, this thoracic surgeon says that when he removes the esophagus and he takes most of the stomach, he has to bring the remainder of my stomach up into my chest which will pretty much elongate it, so it's kind of like a gastric sleeve, but it'll be in my chest, which is a little crazy to me. And from what I understand, he has to open me up to do it. Um, I'm hoping that uh, he can do it laparoscopically. So, <clears throat> I've had to have a bunch of tests done. I don't have a surgery date yet. I went and did a barium swallow. It was terrible. This barium swallow was terrible. And then I had to do a pulmonary test where they put me in like this little spaceship type thing and I had to do all these breathing techniques and that was interesting. And I still have to have a cardiac test done uh, this upcoming Friday on the 28th. On the 29th, no, on the 31st, I go see uh, Dr. McBee, the thoracic surgeon, again, and I'm going to assume that's when they'll do the, or set the date. This type of surgery, because I don't remember him giving me a name of the type of surgery, because we all know that we have the gastric sleeve and the RNY. Um, this one, I had to look it up based off of the information he gave me of what he has to do and it's called trans thoracic esophagectomy uh, when I went in and saw him he said that there were more cancer cells found at the base of the esophagus and I guess by removing four inches of it they remove any more traces of the cancer coming into the esophagus and that's that's the margin he wants to work with so I want to thank uh, everybody for their well wishes and I do a couple shout outs to Alan VSG you're doing great I'm so jealous you're losing weight like crazy uh, mama me VSG Cassie I'm so glad to see you back on camera you look fantastic uh, A. Warnersbach and CC VSG and Cartwheel VSG. There's so many out there that that I I can't remember everybody, but I know there's a lot of people out there that I've been following. And oh, uh, Sleep for Tink and Sleepy V, Sleepy E. Oh, see, it's all coming back to me. See, all these people have been on YouTube like crazy. I get so excited when I see everybody's videos. So, that is my situation right now. I'm so sorry that I didn't come right back on. and It's been over a month. Uh, my husband and I just celebrated our 21st anniversary on the 20th. And I actually kind of hit a little bit of a, a depression when I didn't get the surgery done. Um, I was very upset. I, I'm absolutely blessed to have surgeons who just said, you know, time out. This isn't, we're not going to be able to do this because of the uh, the cancer cells and the tumor. So after thinking out after a while, it was it was ac actually quite a blessing that, that it didn't get done. I'm glad that happened. So uh, this coming Friday, I go for my cardiology test and then see my doctor on the 31st and um, 
Hopefully he'll have some news for me. I, I hopefully will be able to get it done laparoscopically. I'm hoping because I really don't want an 8 inch scar in my middle of my chest. Definitely not. Oh, Y'all see my Wicked Pistol shirt? I'm originally from Maine. <laughs> if anybody up in, up in the New England area knows what a Wicked Piss is or that wonderful New England lingo. <laughs> so I feel better. I do. I feel better about it. I'm, I'm really nervous about the upcoming surgery. Uh, it's pretty invasive. I had to stop all my fall classes. I had to drop them all. Uh, doctor said that it's just, it, it starts uh, tomorrow actually, the fall session starts tomorrow and there's just no way that I could start classes and have the surgery and then continue through classes. I would miss way too much and it's just, I'll just re-enroll in the spring and get my associates back on track again but right now my the um, cancer is a priority in getting what I need to get done and I think that's it everybody I'm so glad to see everybody progressing so well and for all those who are upcoming um, my hats off to you for, for getting it done um, my reasoning is a little different than everybody else's, but the outcome will be the same, I believe. So, thanks everybody, and I'll see you hopefully next weekend.